Yo, what's going on guys? It is Generous here today, and as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be doing another tutorial for you today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this beautiful Japanese large house. But before we get into the tutorial, make sure you check the description below for all the materials you're going to need for this build, okay? And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. But anyway, let's go on to the video. Right, before we actually get into building the actual structure, this is what obviously all the items looks like in-game itself, obviously in a chest format. Obviously we've got all the dark oak stuff up here, the spruce stuff in the middle here, then obviously white terracotta, cobblestone, oak leaves, a few glass panes and a few lanterns, which obviously they are perfectly fine to go and get. But, let's get started building it. So what we're first going to start doing is, you want to get obviously the dark oak logs and the cobblestone, because we're going to do the bottom layer here first and obviously work our way upwards. But ignore obviously all this polish and like, this is just the layout of how big it's actually going to look. Again, you could rotate it, so you could have maybe the entrance this side, all you got to do is just flip this to this side, that's all it is, and just swap it around, but that's dead easy. But what we're going to do is we're going to go three high in the very corner section here. Three high there, three high here. So obviously we've got a gap of three, and we're going to basically repeat this going the entire way around. So gap of three there, gap of three, there we go. There we go, next three, the next three. So yeah, you get the idea, it's basically a gap of three every time, and then three tall dark oak logs, like so. Oh, no, not there. There we go, and there. Once we've then done that, we're then going to fill this in with cobblestone. But obviously, I'm going to do that off camera. And then obviously, once we've done that, we're going to add a layer of dark oak planks going on the top of all this, okay? But obviously, I'm going to, and obviously going to fill all this in as well, but I'm going to do all this off camera, and then I'll catch it once we've done that. Right, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to make, obviously, the entrance and the glass window. So obviously, where this corner section is, is like kind of missing, we're going to come to here. Up to you, you can have the door here, or you can have the door there. I'm going to have the door here, so I'm going to destroy these two blocks there, place the door there, and the opposite one, destroy the middle one, place a glass pane. Again, you can obviously can reverse this round, you can have the door there and the glass pane there, it's completely up to you, your choice. Next step, we're going to get spruce slabs, and in the corner sections of all the actual build, we're going to place upper half spruce slabs there, like so. So we're going to do this going right the way round. There we go. There we go, and this last corner here, like so. Well, then once you've done this, we're going to place a tempi block, and then a lower, a lower half spruce slab there next to it. So we've got that kind of shape going. We're going to do this in all the corners, so tempi block, lower half spruce slab, tempi block, lower half spruce slab, and again here. And the last thing to do with this bit now is just to put lower half slabs in between them. So going right the way round. You've pretty much seen this on all my other tutorials, which obviously if you haven't checked them out, make sure you go and check them out. There'll be, I think there'll be like a little eye in the top right hand corner, you can obviously you can go and click down and watch all the other tutorials on how to make these. Oh, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Nice. Once we've then done this, what we're going to do is going to go back to the dark oak logs, okay? Then we're going to go, we're going to go start on this corner right here, obviously there's the one next to the door. We're going to go one, two, so diagonal, so we're going to leave a gap of two, then a log there. Then come to this corner, one, two, diagonal there. This corner, one, two, diagonal there. And then what we're going to do is we're not going to come to this corner there or that corner. We're going to go from this log here. We're going to go one, two, three, place a log there. One, two, three, place a log there. And obviously you can mirror that. So it looks something like that, okay? Obviously make sure you get a picture of that if you need to. Then once we've done this, we're going to go one, two, three, there. One, two, three, there. So we've got that then shape, okay? Again, we're going to make these three high, like so. There we go. Two more there, nice. There we go. Last two, there we go. Then once we've done this, we're going to get the white terracotta. I'm going to go around and make like these circle shapes, like so. Oops, no, not there. There we go. Here. There we go. Again, we're just going to do this right the way around. And it's again, up to you where you want the door to be on this floor. I'm going to have my like my entrance to like this area, it's going to be there, so I'll show you what I'm going to do here in a second, here we go, nope, delete you, and then obviously this bit, we're going to have like this end shape, we're going to put a, we're going to put a door there, nope, glass panes can obviously go in all these gaps here, to fill it in, you can use obviously whatever colour glass pane you want, and then once we've done that, the next step we're going to do is literally do exactly what we've just done, we're going to go around, I'm going to go obviously do the exact same as what we've done there with the dark oak planks. The exact same shape and the exact same distance apart. So as you can see, we're not obviously going too far, we're not going one over like so. We're having the exact same as what we did there. I'm going to do the exact same with this bit as well, on these as well. So obviously you're going to have the upper halves, we still have there, lower halves, and upper half there. 
I'm going to do all obviously off this off camera and I'll be back for you once I've done that. Now you should have something that looks like this okay. The next step we're going to do is go back to the dark oak planks. We're going to go in this corner again, go one, two, three, place the log there, leave a gap of three, place a log, leave a gap of three, place a log, leave a gap of three, place a log, again three, log, gap of three, log. So we've got this shape going so far, okay? We're not going to touch this bit here because we're going to have like a small roof there. I was going to bring these up by three blocks, basically what we've been doing the entire time. And again, what we did on the previous floor, we're going to make like these circle shapes, like so. There we go. There we go. There we go. And again, it's up to you where you want the door to be. I'm going to have my door here, so I'm going to have, there we go. Like so, that was going to be the end shape, and there's going to be another like circle O shape. Again, the panes in here, and the dark oak door there, like so. Once we've done this, we're then going to bring this again out by two blocks. This is obviously the very top section. Now, this will be the top platform. We're not going to go any higher than this. We're going to have the roof on top of this now, and that's it. So, I'm going to fill this in, going right the way around. Like so, obviously, again, I'm going to do that off camera, but we're only going to here, okay? So, once we've obviously gone two out on this side, we're just going to make this go a line right across. We're not going to come over to this half here. So, we should have a one, two, three, four gap there. Of just empty open air like so so we can get rid of this now there we go so i'm going to fill this in i'll be back here once i've done that now you should have some that looks like this what i've done is i've again off camera i've gone around and added these side sections basically what we've been doing the past two layers the next step we're going to do is we're going to get the dark oak fences or sorry dark oak stairs i'm going to place the upside down dark oak stairs on the top half of these dark oak logs going right the way around we're going to do some on all the floors so we're going to do this on this floor and this floor there we go, just like so again, going right the way round, there we go, there we go, almost done, there we go, and there we go. Right, now that you've done that, we're going to do the small roof first, and then we'll do the large roof, and then our defences after that. So to do the small roof, what you want to do, is you can get rid of the logs and the white terracotta from your inventory now, there we go. What we're then going to do, is we're going to go one, two, to this, this one here, Go across one to the right and place two planks like that. Same this side. So start here. Go one, two. Diagonal one to the left this side. And like so. So you obviously should be in a line like so. Then once we've done this, you can use whatever you want. I'm just going to use this, the dark oak planks here. This is not part of the list of what obviously I told you there. These are just temporary blocks. So you don't have to have these if you don't want to. Then once you've done this, dark oak stairs are going to go obviously next to the dark oak planks like so this side as well then dark oak stairs slabs on top of them and then spruce spruce stairs on the side of these just like so so we've got this very small little roof there and now to the big roof we're gonna go again one in two in and then a spruce stair like that and what we're gonna do is just gonna do this diagonal we're gonna do this so it's five so again so one two three four five so we've got that shape same on this side do the exact same but obviously just mirror it one two, three, four, five, then two planks like so. So we've got that shape, and then we're gonna mirror this on this side. Again, I'm just gonna do this dead quick. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, two planks. Right, now that we've done that, we're gonna get the white terracotta again. This is the bit, last bit of white terracotta you're gonna need. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, like so. Then three on top of that, then a one. So we've got like this triangle pyramid shape. Obviously, once you're doing it on one side, you've got to do it to the other as well. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is you don't have to use these dark oak pl uh, planks here. Again, it's basically what we just said down there. These are just temporary blocks. You can don't have to have these if you don't want to. I didn't put these planks as part of the list. So obviously don't take these as like actually into account. I didn't take these into account at all. You can put them as dirt if you want to. Once we've done this, once we've done, sorry, once we've done the planks there, we're then going to have the dark oak fences go obviously right across these, connecting it all together to make the roof. There we go, like so. Oh, no, this side as well. There we go. Two more rows to go. And then one last row. There we go. And then once we've done that, last thing to do for this roof is just to add the dark oak slabs on the top here, like so. And that there is the roof done and dusted. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go around and do the dark oak fences. 
The last thing left to do is to do the dark oak fences, which is what we're going to do. We're going to start on the bottom row here and just go one around so far, going right around the outside. Oops, there we go. And then if you've been watching the rest of the, all the other tutorials, you probably know what's going to happen here. Is what we're going to do is going to add extra fences on top of these as like support beams essentially. So where the corners are, these are obviously going to be down to the bottom fence like so. There we go. There we go. And just on the front side here, we're going to add one in the middle of these, okay? Like so. Oh, no. There we go. So we've got that shape. Come to this corner. We're going to go one, two. There we go. Leave a gap. And then obviously two. Leave a gap. There's two. There we go. And then here, there we go, leave a gap two. Again, we do it in the corners as well, the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is gonna meet where this where there's a dark oak pillar is in the middle here. We're gonna have obviously two fences there. Same here, two fences there. Basically, wherever there's a pillar, we're gonna have a double fence there on top of it. And then obviously in the corners, you're obviously gonna have two fences because they act like support beams for the entire structure. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, not there. And there we go. And then that bottom row here is done. All that to do is add the lanterns, which the lanterns are going to go where there's three empty spaces, okay? So there's three there, three there. Corners are not going to do them in. Obviously, empty space there, three, empty space of three, empty space of three. So to have a look that looks like this. This top layer here, what we're going to do is again go right, right around the outside. Just one going right the way around the bottom. There we go, just like so. And then, again, what we've just been doing here, the corners are definitely going to have two in. Leave a gap of one, and then place another two. There we go. Here we go. There. Where the pillars are. Here we go. Two on top of that. Corner. Two there. Then we're going to do two here. Two there. Two in the corner two there and then two finally in the middle like so and obviously here in the corner again here we go all that's left to do for this layer is just to add the lanterns again where the gap of threes are of fences we're going to add one lantern in the middle of them here we go oh no not there one here and one there and that there is all the fences done and dusted all that's left to do now is just to do the oak leaves around the bottom Right, all that's left to do is just to add the oak leaves, which to do the oak leaves, we're going to come on this side here, we're going to come on the front side here where the door is, we're going to go across the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then where the cobblestone are, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 1 on top, like so, so obviously if you want to take a picture of that, you can, there you go, I'm going to repeat this, but again, basically what we're doing here is the exact same on all the other sides, so obviously the, this is a bit longer this side, but there's still no difference to it because where the cobblestone is, have one across right across the bottom here. Then obviously the net where the middle layer is the cobblestone. Always have three. And on the top layer of cobblestone is one in the middle. Just like so. Again, this side is the exact same as this. I'm just gonna do this side dead quick. Here we go. Three, two, one, two, three, two, one. And then this is the exact same. This side here is the exact same as what we did there. Oops, on the first one. Didn't mean to do that, but oh well. <laughs> there we go. Two, one, two, three, two, one. There we go. And that there is the Japanese large house done and dusted. If you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see more of this on the channel, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and turn on the notification bell down below. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next episode. See ya!